<laughs> these were the cars that Edison made. And, and they, they used these, ba these type of batteries. And th that was 1905. And his batteries are still working. So that, 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 that was an, a big consideration for me because I, I do like lithium-ion batteries. I think they have lots and lots of advantages. But the fact that they have a very finite lifetime, you know, was a, was a, a, a sort of a negative for me. Yeah, I wanted something that was going to last. And, uh, and, and these batteries are basically indestructible. You can store them completely discharged for years and they'll spring back to life. You can, you can overcharge them. They don't care about that, that either. Um, so it, it, it's, they're very, very robust. Very resilient. Um, but they have some disadvantages because the chemistry is such that um, water gets high, uh, electrolyzed. And uh, it doesn't actually take part in the electricity generation, but it, 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 makes the, it gets electrolyzed in the process. And that means you've got to keep topping them up. And that's a real pain in the neck. Now, I was doing that manually to start off with. Every week, going along, putting a half a litre of water on each battery, and it becomes a real pain in the neck. So I then installed uh, an, uh, an automatic watering system <laughs> that's on it. So uh, that, that does it for me. And that's supplied from that tank, which is reverse osmosis water. I had to put in a little reverse osmosis system to feed, because <laughs> it has to be very pure water. Um, so one thing leads to another, and you know, but um, that's, but it's working really well at the moment. And um, just some simple science. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, it's just physics. <laughs>